Well, the first thing I wanted to write a book for my daughter, because I promised to write her a book. And, but really, the main inspiration was, I mean, I knew, about, I knew about the family, I was interested in it, but I heard a story about a school down the country and they had a big field they were going to make into a football pitch and there was a big hawthorn tree growing and um, down south and they cut down the hawthorn tree to drain the land and to you know, make this pitch and when the men came to dig out the roots of the tree they discovered a skeleton, they discovered not one skeleton, they found a skull and they found a rib cage and then they dug further and not very deep now, very shallowly under this hawthorn tree they found three small skeletons. I could picture three children admittedly very very thin because it was during the famine and very scrawny and quite weak but I saw them walking and I saw them this journey and I knew their intention had been to have to survive and but they didn't survive but in my book they did survive. The publisher wanted to chase said oh no one would ever buy a book called Under the Hawthorn Tree it's a really bad name for a book and um, these people think it's about gardens or trees and I said no I have to call it that name because of the story of the three children found under the hawthorn tree and it's gone all around the world into every language and children all over the world reading it and loving it and caring about it. I'm very excited about being adapted for stage. I'm dying to see what they do and I'm dying to see how children react to it and how, not just children, adults, because adults will come to it too and, and audiences, how they react to it. I've seen something that's quite hard and quite difficult dramatised. So I think that will be unusual, unusual for children too, you know. So I think a lot of kids that will come to it, it may be their first experience that is beyond a pantomime or a fairy tale, you know, on stage. I'm looking forward to being at the Mac and looking forward to coming to see it and seeing how it's done and seeing Eileen, Michael and Peggy and my family on stage and all the different things they go through and uh, it'll be very emotional, I think, watching it. <laughs>